imagine that you can feel anywhere in the world at home within 90 days. Is this possible? Yes. And it's so easy for me that I decided to give it now into your hands because you deserve to feel happy. You deserve to be with people who are exactly like you. People who are inspired, creating, passionate, and purposeful. I am just like you. I'm a purpose-driven traveler. I left my home country, Germany, and left, go, went to France, to Egypt, for work, study, and for love. At the same time, any place I travel, within the first days, one of 10 people I meet are exactly like me. I can have honest conversations with them and real talk. And one of these 10 friends actually stay long life friends over the next years. This is possible and I want to give it to you. So when I want, was in Germany actually, um, I often felt strange among my own people in my own country. You know this? When you feel bored, when you are with your own friends, I grew up in small countries in Germany and the people there did not have the same dream like me. So very quickly I excluded myself from my schoolmates because I was different and I felt that I were not accepted. At the same time, this is the reason why I wanted to have deep conversations and I really wanted to have real talks and I loved the birthday parties of my mother because there were people who are older and understood me better. That's also the reason why I'm tending to have much older boyfriends. What if you can find friends with who you have a safe zone to talk about what you really think and what you really need? I broke it down from my personal experience for you in three steps. For you to find the people within the first 90 days wherever you go people where you feel unconditionally at home. Step number one, know what you need. Step number two, listen to your inner voice. Step number three, to take inspired actions. Let's start with step number one, to know what you need. Let's say you travel to Germany. Okay, so what do you really need? Do you want to meet people who you know you have a nice talk with and who show you the best cafes in the town because this is also important for us? Or do you want to meet a person where you feel really connected to, a person who understands why you left your family and you went to Germany? When you know what you need, this is as if you are walking through the city with an imaginary sign above your head, written what you want. People who are crossing your way will read the sign. If they feel connected, they come to you. If they feel not, they don't come. I compare it with a Google research. You describe in your Google research the person you want to meet, and you let Google do the rest for you. It's also very helpful to Feel the feeling in advance as if you already met this person. Feel this, yes, I really want to meet this person. Yes, I really deserve it. And then let go. Means that you don't think about it anymore and let Google search for you. Once you activated your Google research, you do the step number two. Listen to your inner voice. What does it actually mean? Listen to your inner voice means that um, you are discovering what, what is right for you. You are discovering what you, who, the people you really want to meet. Let's say you're in a new country, in a new city, and you want to, um, to go out of the house to meet this person. Well, often we feel strange, imperfect, not good enough, when we go to a place where we never went before and we don't know any people. 
the thing I want to give to you is choose fun over fear. Means that go to sports, go to theater, go to the club, go to anywhere you want, but you enjoy the activity. Do it because you love the activity. What happened? That at this place, your Google research will start to give you your top three results. Your top three means that Google starts to ping when there's a person crossing who matches exactly what is written on your imaginary sign, what you said before. So next question, how do we know? Actually, how do we hear the ping? It's very interesting and you can do it so well because um, of course I want, I want you to discover now and do this exercise yourself. This is maybe one of the most important questions you can ask yourself. Did you ever do in life anything you did not know why? And afterwards it starts to make sense and you said, that's why. Did you ever have this feeling of yes or of no? This is called intuition or inner voice. You are born with it and you just have to re-listen to it and to activate it again. This inner voice, this intuition tells you also sometimes what you have to wear in the morning. Why? Why did you not wear the red pullover but the blue one? Because you felt somehow more comfortable in the blue one. When you are with a big friends group and you, the a whole evening you talk to everybody but not to this person because you felt stressed, you felt wrong, you had somehow stomach ache. This is called intuition. Because this voice always talks never stop. Even when our family, our society and education tells us that it's wrong what we feel. It's true. You can ask yourself this question to find out and to listen more to your inner voice. Ask yourself, how do I feel when the person is close to me? Do I feel easy? Do I start easily a conversation with? Do I start to open up? When this person crosses my way, the eyes are shining. In this case, the person is meant to be with you. And I say as a friend, as a colleague, as a classmate, or just the person you cross on the street, this is one of your top three. Let's move to the last point. Take inspired actions. When you found this person, it's time to trust your intuition and to take inspired actions. It's time to connect to the person, talk to him or her. What happened is that your life started to open up magically. It's amazing because you choose that you don't use life to live, but you let life live through you and your life starts to change. Here's an example. It's a true story. Two and a half years ago, I was in Germany. I was staying at the window. I did step number one to know what I need. I was staying at the window and I was praying. I said, please, I want to meet a man who is super connected with me and I can finally be stable. This should be my last boyfriend. Some weeks later, I met an Egyptian man, my soulmate, in Germany on the streets. He is married and had two kids. Step number two, listen to my inner voice. I ask myself, are we meant to be together? Because this inner voice is your higher wisdom who will always guide you wherever you go. The answer was, you are not meant to marry, but there's a reason why you met him. Step number three, take inspired actions. I decided partly against my inner voice, but I um, sold all my furniture. I planned the next six months 
to move to Egypt, to board Arabic classes, and to arrive here, marry him, and become second wife. Now I'm divorced, and I know for sure to go to Egypt was exactly the right place, exactly the right time. It was my inner calling. I was so convinced when I was in e Germany that this is the right thing to do. And I call it the best decision, 2017, because it changed my life. Without, I would never be on the stage today. I would never have my company, my coaching. I would never be the person I am now. You can create this too. You deserve to be happy and to find the people who are exactly matching with you. People, when you are with them, you feel grateful because you talk to them. Then you have more energy, you have more power, you have more ideas, and actually they start to raise you up. And when you leave the discussion, you are even greater, bigger, and happier than before. This person's you can create a home anywhere in the world with. Sometimes it's a bit hard to change your life alone. One and a half years ago, I was here in Egypt. I was quitting my job and my marriage was down. I felt frustrated and I could not change the situation myself. At this time, I hired an online coach who listened to me every week stayed with me and changed me to help me to focus, to come down finally. And what happened is that I got more hope in my work, more hope in my marriage, and most importantly, in the relationship to myself. Sometimes it takes a coach or a trainer to help us changing into the person we want to be, listen to your inner voice, and set us free. I can be this coach for you and accompany you on your travel to feel finally at home again. Thank you.